Hi there, my most amazing friend. Hope you're well. Uh, I thought I'd share with you today uh, some uh, some nuggets in terms of my life as an artist and share some highs and lows. Uh, looking at the past week, a lot of times people have questions for me about how things work as an artist and thought I'd just uh, pass along what's going on in uh, my life this week. So uh, number one of the highs, three highs and then one low. Number one of the highs, I had a breakthrough in the studio this week. So about a month ago, I started uh, in the course of a week or two, four new paintings using a little bit looser, drippier style that I'm experimenting with these days. And of the four, uh, one of them I absolutely loved, and then the other three I didn't know what to do with. So this week I went down into my studio preparing to paint over the other three with white paint so that I could just start fresh. But as I took the first one out to paint over it, I thought, oh, I know exactly what to do to make this a great painting or what I hope to be a great painting. So I did that. I was happy, went on to the next one and then the next one. So I think, uh, fingers crossed, that now I've got four paintings that I really like. And the reason I say fingers crossed is because it's not until a little time goes by that you can look at a painting more objectively and then decide whether you like it or not. But it's right now, this week, it feels like that was a breakthrough in some uh, new processes I was experimenting with this week. So that was awesome. Uh, number two, super high. Uh, I was asked by a beautiful gallery uh, in Burlingame, California. Uh, the gallery is called the Studio Shop to bring some paintings to the gallery to have a first meeting with the gallerists. And they were going to see if they wanted to put my work in their gallery. So I uh, brought six paintings and uh, they liked them. They wanted to keep all six in the gallery and uh, start showing them this month and along with the um, a reception they're having in mid-December. Um, so uh, I needed a couple of paintings for another show I was having. So they have four of my paintings at the studio shop in Burlingame, California. So uh, thanks so much to them. I'm really excited about this new relationship. So that was uh, high number two. Now, high number three, if you've been watching me on Facebook Live, you've already seen this, but this week I got the profes latest professional artist magazine. And in that magazine is a an article written by uh, a great uh, advisor, financial advisor to artists. Her name is Elaine Grogan Luttrell. And uh, she interviewed me for a professional artist magazine. And uh, as part of the interview, they featured my paintings as well as uh, paintings of a good friend of mine, Willie Richardson. We were both interviewed and uh, our work was uh, both featured. This is Willie's uh, beautiful work, uh, both featured uh, in this article. So that was high number three for this last week. Now as an artist, there are highs and there are also lots of lows. Um, the one low that I had is I had an art meeting with somebody in the different town in the middle of the day uh, and uh, the person stood me up. So when I take time, I, I really guard my time really preciously. So when I take time out of the middle of the day and get out of the studio and take a shower and put on real clothes and drive somewhere, to me, that's taking away from really valuable studio, studio time. And I do that because the meeting is also going to be really valuable. But when the person doesn't show up, man, that made me so, so mad. So that was certainly a low for the week. And uh, it was just an honest mistake on the other person's part. And we have made up and we're meeting tomorrow. So no problem. But boy, that kind of put a damper on that day for sure. You know, there, there was another low. It's not a professional low. It's just a personal life low. So, um, you know, as an adult, Good things happen, bad things happen. You're used to rolling with the bad things and you just 
keep going. But something uh, with one of my sons, uh, I'm not going to share the details, but uh, uh, at school, um, he had an experience that was that he didn't like so much and that got him down. And boy, when when for, I was just shocked. So when you have a child that's down, uh, that really just pulled me down too. And I didn't quite recover until he recovered from that. So just it took a day or two to shake it off. But uh, he got there, I got there. Um, but I was just kind of surprised, learned a little something about myself and myself as a mom that I can recover more quickly from the bumps in the road that I encounter uh, personally than the ones that my kids encounter. So do you ever have that as a parent? If you're a parent, yeah, maybe, maybe you do. So, um, you know, I'm kind of new to this Facebook Live thing. And if you have anything that uh, you would like me to uh, to talk to in these Facebook lives, please comment, please comment below. Uh, I would love to hear it. So what I have teed up right now is I'm going to do uh, designer secrets, sharing top seven designer secrets for uh, adding color to your homes and offices. So I did number one this week and then uh, numbers two through seven are coming up. I also have planned some interviews of some really cool people in the design space and also uh, nature conservancy uh, space because uh, that's really important to me in the nature painting and uh, we really have to protect our planet. So I've got some pretty cool uh, interviews lined up with uh, with with those folks. Uh, if you have something you want me to cover, please ask. I'd love to know. Um, in the meantime, if you want to check out the latest uh, paintings or what's going on, I keep a blog on hollyvanhart.com and you can see all the latest going on there, uh, studio shots, videos, um, work in progress, uh, the, the whole deal, finished paintings, the whole, the whole deal. So uh, please head on over there, to the, there if you're interested in seeing the latest of what's uh, going on and coming out of my studio, including the events that are coming up. Very next one in December, my holiday art show and sale, December 2 and 3. And then I have some really cool stuff coming up in 2018 as well. Go to hollyvanhart.com slash events. So my friend, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this time with me uh, this evening. Uh, let me know what you want to hear about more in these Facebook lives. And uh, ciao. See you next time. <laughs>